I'm Donna Jordan from Jordan Fabrics. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a table runner from Cozy Quilt Designs. We only need three fabrics. We need a half a yard or a third of a yard, just three prints. And I thought it'd be fun if Matt and I each picked out a color combination and we'll make both of those. And it, it looks like Matt is already getting a head start picking his out, so let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm, I'm doing one of the favorite things that we do here in the shop and that's look for combinations to use on patterns. Um, I drifted to this area right now which has a lot of motor fabrics, French General, Kansas Troubles, a lot of nice light and dark tones. I'm going to keep wandering around the shop a little bit until I see something that I think might look good. There's some dark and light prints and mediums in here. This, this has potential, this group. That's that June Cottage. Nice. All these groups have potential. I've got a bunch of these coordinates left up in the uh, workshop. Yeah. And so we've got a nice group here. And there's a lot of nice, you know, lights, darks, mediums. Yeah. So I think I'll pick something from there. That'll what be do you beautiful. Think? So which is the star? We need a lot of this one. You don't need much of anything. You need a half yard or a third yard of everything. Of everything? Okay. Yeah. So you want to do the star in which? Well, I was thinking this. Okay, and then the star is going to go on something. What do you want it to go on? Well, this would be nice. Okay. But then, do, then you the have question a whole... is, do we have a background left? Then you've I got... suppose we could go to like this light yellow or something. Yeah. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yes. I think I, know. I think I have more of that. Yes. How about those three? Beautiful. Let's do it. Okay. All right. What have you got picked out? Mine is over in the workroom. Well, let's go see. All right. All right. <laughs> Go ahead, Donna. I'm gonna pick from these new fabrics that we just got in. I don't think Matt remembered. So these are from Robert Kaufman. It's batik with silver metallic. So I'm gonna do a silver, and I'm going to do a black with red, and I'm going to do a red. So let's take these over to the studio, we'll get everything cut out and we'll show you how to make it. So the first thing I'm going to do is start to iron my fabrics. The next step is to get everything cut. Now you'll need to purchase the pattern. I can't give you all the sizes because it's a pattern we buy from Cozy Designs, but their patterns are easy to follow and so Matt's gonna get it all cut up so we can start sewing. <laughs> Matt has all of the pieces nicely cut out for me here. So the first thing we're going to make is the flying geese units, which will make our star points. So one method to do these is to draw a line right on the diagonal of all of your blocks. I find it a lot easier to put a line on my sewing machine. So I've got painter's tape because it will come off without a residue and it's going from the needle hole straight down. So I'm going to put the top corner at the needle and the bottom is just gonna stay on this tape line as I sew. And that works really well with small pieces. Now when you stitch, you wanna stitch either right along the line or slightly to this side of it, because when you fold this over, it has a little bit of bulk and it's hard to get it completely folded over unless you scooch over half half a, just a smidgen that way. But that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take all of these and stitch right down like that. I'm just chain piecing these, it goes really fast. And when I get them all done, I'll show you how to iron them and trim off this excess here. To iron these open, I usually give it a quick press flat just to make sure that the stitching is relaxed. Then peel that open, fold it back, the corners will meet exactly, and then give it a little steam. Now we want to cut away these bottom two layers, leaving a quarter inch seam allowance. You can do this with your blade and your ruler if you like, but it's so small I find that it's really pretty easy just to take your scissors and snip that off. 
Now we're stitching the second square on. So I'm again matching up all these sides, putting this corner right here, right where the needle is, and keeping this bottom corner right on the line and stitching. Now we're going to iron this second corner flat. So I like to kind of assembly line these here. I find I can not even set the iron down. Just pick up with the one hand, flatten it out, press it open. It goes really, really fast. Now we're going to take four of these flying geese units put the four corners here and the center square, and we're gonna sew all this together to make a little mini star. I like to lay all the pieces out here and then just pick up these first two and stitch them together and leave them on the machine. Then I'm gonna pick up the next two pieces in order. And I'm gonna leave this on the machine. And then the last pair here. And this helps me keep everything in order. So now all we're going to do is open these up. You don't even have to open them up. You can leave them closed, but we're just going to put this on top of here, this on top of here, and this on top of here. And that way the pieces, you don't run the risk of getting anything upside down or anything out of order. I'm going to finger press the seams right now. I'm just gonna use my fingertip or my fingernail. And these seams in the first row are going to be going away from the center. And in the last row, they're going to be going away from the center. And it's pretty easy because they want to go away from the center because we've got extra bulk right there. Now this row in the middle, those seams want to go towards the middle. So we're just gonna help them along a little bit. Now that is really flat enough for me to turn it and stitch down here. So the seams, the seam allowances now are going in alternate directions there. So that's gonna lay nice and flat. And you can put a pin in right there if you want to make sure you match up that intersection because you do want them matched. So this is what we want it to look like. When you open it up, you want that making one nice line there, one nice line there, and a nice point right there. So I'm gonna stitch the other one and then we'll iron it really flat. Now that the star blocks are done, all we have to do is sew these border pieces onto two sides of this guy, and then we can lay the runner out and see what it looks like. Now that we have all of the pieces, we can start building the runner. So this is on point. So we're gonna lay out a couple of rows here. So these are gonna go around the squares. And then we're going to be putting some corners on. And these will fit down here and then we will just keep going. These are gonna fill in right here. So I like to lay the whole thing out when it's a small item like this, because then I can see where everything goes. When it's time to sew the rows together, you have to think of your row like this. The first row has just got this. The next row is that. The next row is that. So it's easier to lay the whole thing out and then make one row at a time and lay them back right where they came from so that you know you've got everything in position. Once we have all the rows sewn together, we've got just these last pieces which are going to go there and we're gonna trim it off even. And then I'm gonna get it all quilted up and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Here's the finished runner. This is a really fun project. It didn't take very long. It's 17 
by about 54 inches. It's a nice, generous size. You can't see it, but it's just quilted in the ditch around these blocks and then around here. And I used an almost plain backing, so you can see a little bit of the quilting there. I did a little bit extra. Very easy to make. The stars really pop on that dark background, and I, I love the metallic accents in this. This binding too, Donna, was a great choice because it, it just frames everything so nicely for you. It does. Nicely done. Binding Red stars, is... black background there, snowflakes, back to like, framing everything. Beautifully done. Yeah, so I these, like this pattern. What is this called, this group from Robert Kaufman? It's not Northwoods, it's snow, snowflakes. Or something. Snowflakes. So snow, metallic snowflakes. And it's got the it's batik with the silver. Really a fun group. Yeah. Very popular the last few years, the, the black and the red, the silver and Christmas, Christmas, you know, winter time. It's been very popular colors. Now let's see yours. Out. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay. So I picked out a line we've had in stock for a while and I've done other combinations with this, but this is how the runner came out, which is really interesting if you look at these two. They look not completely different, but a lot different. Same fabrics though. It's just where we placed the fabrics in the kit or in the project is what makes them gives it that look. Yeah, and it's and these in, also don't have binding. No, which is these a way are you can the, do it. So so talk about that, Donna, because so you're the seamstress. Here. That's the flip finish. Yeah. It's a little bit quicker than putting binding on. Right. So what I was going to point out is the colorful background, the printed background, we used a lot of it here and a more solid background here for the stars and the stars show up a little better. They really pop. In this runner, I used the printed yeah, the fabric printed in the background of right. the stars. They float in a little more, mm -hmm. which it's still beautiful, but it's just two different looks with exactly the same fabric. I'll call it a little plainer look. Yeah. yeah. It's a little plainer and maybe someone wants to do it like that. In fact, the, the pattern that we looked at on the top, it shows kind of a plainer look. Yeah, really, but really fun to make. Of course, this jazzes this up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I like this one. Yes. Now, Donna, who's the winner? Who picked out the best fabrics? You, you guys are gonna have to vote. <laughs> Leave your votes in the comments. So if you, tell us if you like Matt's better or Donna's better. Thanks for watching our tutorial today on how to make Cozy Quilt Designs Table Runner. It was lots of fun. Happy quilting.